joining us right now, Monty Malothra, co-chair of the Thai Youth Program. Monty, tell us a little bit about what the Thai Youth Program is, how large you guys are, and what your goals are. Yeah, absolutely. So here in Silicon Valley, entrepreneurship is really sexy. Um, and really what we wanted to do was enable middle school, high school, and college students to see a different face of entrepreneurship. Something that was a little bit different than tech and understand that entrepreneurship is really a mindset, something that you can take with you whether you're working at a large company, um, starting your own consulting company, really it's just a mindset to think differently and challenge the status quo. One of the things that we've noticed here at Thai is such a large organization. Um, how does the Thai Youth Program keep itself relevant in terms of getting the time and the attention that you think you would, you know, you would wish to have yeah. from mentors and all the, you know, no, all the charter question. members? It's a great question. And honestly, I think the Thai Youth Program. I'm a little biased, but I think it's the most interesting part of the youth, the energy that comes with it, seeing what the brightest minds in Silicon Valley are working on. And honestly, we last year we had over 500 attendees for four hours straight. Um, if you really want to be inspired, Thai Youth is the place to, ch to come check out. Talk a little bit about some of the interesting things that are taking place at Thai Youth. I know you guys are working with young entrepreneurs. Um, what are some of the young entrepreneurs currently working on? What fields, what, you know, what kind of uh, silos are they in? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and so this year, like I mentioned, we have a little bit of a focus away from technology. And so a lot of our speakers are focused on social entrepreneurship. We have uh, Sweta from the Hans Foundation. We have uh, an entrepreneur who's nine years old who's talking about how he started his own lemonade stand. So we really want to run the gamut and really help people understand the framework and mindset of entrepreneurship as opposed to any one particular industry. Now, I understand you yourself are an entre entrepreneur as well, and you have your own company. Tell us a little bit about Money Intel. Yeah. Um, we really want to make and solve America's retirement problem and make offering a retirement plan for companies simple and easy. And I can tell you from my own journey of you know, retirements and 401ks, it's not a sexy industry, but the biggest takeaway I've learned is that the, the number one key to being successful as an entrepreneur is not giving up and uh, just staying on that journey. And it is a eight to 10 year journey to be a successful entrepreneur. I know we read about all these overnight successes. And so if you can stick with it and stay true to your goal, and have that mission in mind, you will eventually make it if you have that tenacity and stubbornness to succeed as an entrepreneur. How are you filling this void? Who are you competing with in this space for money? Sure. Account? Yeah, our biggest competitors are the traditional insurance and payroll companies. Um, and really the biggest obstacle for companies to offer a retirement plan is all of the work that they have to do. Uh, onboarding employees, updating payrolls, uploading payrolls, um, helping answer employee questions about what investments that they should offer. And so by automating all of that work for a company by integrating to their ADP or into a payroll systems, we can take that work off their hands, we can handle the compliance, and we can empower employees to make intelligent decisions for their retirement through our platform. Fantastic, that's Monty Malothra from Money Intel.